It's been a lovely sunny Shannon morning as the Aleutian 62 taxied in, bringing the first ever Soviet leader to visit Ireland. It's been a big day for Mr. Hockey, who becomes president of the European community next year. A large crowd cheered Mr. and Mrs. Gorbachev as they came down the steps. Mr. Hockey has done his best to make what is really a refueling stop between Moscow and Havana a real summit. Shannon is the right place for these talks. 2,000 Aeroflot planes will refuel here this year. And the Irish airline company run two duty-free shops in Russia. Mr. Gorbachev seemed in happy, confident mood. He was nodding acknowledgement as the crowd applauded him almost continuously. Madam On the rostrum, Mr. Hockey tried a little Russian. Then it was into the airport building for the talks proper. These are scheduled to last 45 minutes, but allowing for interpreters, that probably means nearer 20. Mr. Hockey does plan to describe the situation in Northern Ireland, but he's not going to have long to do it. Meanwhile, Mrs. Hockey took Mrs. Gorbachev off to see some Irish history. Plaza de la Revolución y la ceremonia de colocación de la ofrenda floral ante el monumento donde va a tener lugar, donde va a efectuarse la ceremonia. Vilma Espín ha colocado también un ramo de flores todo nuestro pueblo a su arribo a la ciudad de La Habana.